and we're doing a Zoom call, which is kind of coincidental because we're talking about a particular Zoom call tonight. That's our topic. Correct. And we had to get this on this quick because um, it's uh, Jeffrey Tubin. We all know about the Zoom call. Do you want to describe it? He was masturbating on a Zoom meeting. Yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. And we're not going to just focus on the obvious. I mean, masturbating on a Zoom call is obviously kind of creepy, in fact, disgusting. But what's also interesting is, are some of the defenses that, you know, some people have made for his uh, behavior, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually think this is even better than the masturbating on the Zoom call. So tell them what the big- many defenses, <laughs> article statements from real journalists Basically, that the reason people are mad is because Mm -hmm. they are really guilty about masturbation. (laughs) Bad, and what he did wasn't that bad because, after all, we all masturbate. We all masturbate. That's a defense, and it's masturbation shaming. And it's like, yeah, you know, it's masturbating, but not. Yeah, that's fine to do, but not in the schoolyard. Not in the soup. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> like there's a play time and place for the masturbation not on the zoom call with your co-workers not what you what uh other not on the subway grandma's everyone grandma. does it yeah but you were giving a speech at your son's bar mitzvah <laughs> <laughs> see we all masturbate nobody's disputing that masturbation itself is fine and no problem but what he's failing to recognize is when you masturbate in front of co-workers. Like, what's wrong with masturbating? Not at Red Lobster. <laughs> Again. <laughs> like, I, uh, like, oh, it's natural. Like, everyone has sex. Not a knife point. Not a knife point. <laughs> <laughs> Not at Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that you have to actually sit down and, and explain this to people. I actually think those journalists need to apologize more than Jeffrey Tubin because he clearly has an issue. That that's just stupidity. Right, right. He has some kind of obvious, you know, self-destructive psychosexual problem. They're just dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> right. They like they have the real apology to make. And we are like, oh, nudity is natural. N- not on the debate stage. Right, right. Well, we all, you know, we all yearning defecate, but again, <laughs> not a red lobster. <laughs> That's what I expect go to. <laughs> not even not when you're giving a speech at your son's bar mitzvah. <laughs> I'll defecate while I'll, I'll, I want a blumpkin. I'll defecate while I'm masturbating. <laughs> natural. Everyone does it. You know what else you is natural? To... Na- Toad stools. You don't eat them. Natural is not a defense. <laughs> there has to be a you know time, place, and manner restriction. This shouldn't be rocket science. It shouldn't be constitutional law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's sit down. What it did was perfectly natural not to do it a fucking Zoom call. I mean, it's even things that are less, you know, um, disgusting. Disgusting and shocking, you don't do on a Zoom call. Are, are you clipping your toenails again? <laughs> on a Zoom call? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the problem? It's like everyone has to cut their nails. <laughs> Do not cut your nails. If you don't, I think you have a bigger problem. I actually bite them. It keeps my flexibility. So I'm on a Zoom call with my boss. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's my problem, obviously. It is natural. <laughs> we all have to clip sometime, you know. Oh, you go bald. Tell <laughs> us about the projects you're working on. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well. Right. Right. I know my performance evaluation is coming up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe Jeffrey Tubin should have just shamed them all right on the spot, given that you know, hey guys, you had a problem with masturbation. What are you sexy? <laughs> enough. Enough. Enough, Miss Tubin. <laughs> That's actually so much worse. Oh my god, I got to work on my stomach. <laughs> that was like worse than a penis. 
<laughs> I was like, can you just, I wish you had a penis to just yeah, show well, me. It's called the, that part of your body is actually called the penis. What's the name for it? Pa- well, it is painful. <laughs> <laughs> still the ball makes sense. Oh, God. Fine. You look fine, but it is, but it doesn't entitle you to show it off on this the ball. Fine is not good enough. We're, we're not, you know, again, natural does not equate with okay <laughs> on a Zoom call. It just doesn't. Jeffrey Tubin apparently didn't know that, and especially the blue checks who defended him. They're the ones that are just really painfully, you know, just kind of exposing themselves in, in ways even more disgusting and idiotic than, than uh, Mr. Uh, Tubin did. Right. But, you know, you have to... Um... In what in the in the realm of kind of doing very sexually inappropriate, even kind of harassing things that you, uh, at a workplaces, you have to give it to him because um, you're going to say, you know, he's a, a disgusting man. But there were men on that Zoom call, so I have to give it to him for being an equal harasser. Offender. Yeah, that's true. He was offending men at the same time, so. This kind of like distinguishes itself from the normal Me Too situation. He's offending and disgusting and, and disgusting men and women at the same time. It's refreshing. It's refreshing, and it's sort of an equal opportunity kind of harassing, which it's like. But you know, it does show every TV journalist just give it time, and someone <laughs> they're going to be exposing their dick. And then what do you do? You have to bring in like Hoda yet again. Yet again. <laughs> Like we can't have these guys anymore. Just get Hoda on the line. Just Hoda. She's not. Just gonna, think not we're not. She's not going to expose her genitals, or so has so far has not. I, 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 job. I'm betting. I'm betting on Hoda. I'm. I'm, I'm betting that she's going <laughs> to get Hoda on the line. You know, not, not, not political not Everybody does it. I mean, that's not going to happen with Hoda. <laughs> <laughs> What is, what is it? Nobody masturbates with a vibrator? <laughs> Just women probably are like, right. Yeah, yeah, I know. And that would be very entertaining. But, you know, it's harder for women have to get in a whole position to really expose sure. themselves. And so, food, you know, so there is labor. And you also wonder, too, like, you're on a business call, too. It's like, it's just... I, I, I mean, he's in his 50s. Is his sex drive just that high? I mean, you know, I'm in my 50s, and, you know, I just... It just, I just not that driven anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, then he may have had uh, just hadn't turned off. You know how it always happens because you know on Zoom calls you just make mistakes. You're talking and people are like, "You got to mute, you got to mute," right. you know. And with him, he just didn't. You know, you had just which you really should just be saying if someone's masturbating, you just be like, could you hide video? And then you could still go on with your call. Polite. I mean, we could just really entitle this uh, with a hashtag uh, when multitasking goes horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, hashtag just because it's natural. Don't do it on Zoom. <laughs> Jeff, uh, you're masturbating. Oh, so you want me to hide my video? No, just mute. <laughs> <laughs> sloshing sounds are distracting yeah that but anyhow that's the message for today um well no we have to we were gonna we were gonna get into how he he only likes to i don't know if it's harass or be inappropriate with with, with women who are highly educated well that's important too <laughs> we, had a, we have a whole part b yeah yeah part b of this actually <laughs> zoom call because not surprisingly, with a lot of sexual harassers, it's not like the first, you know, their first rodeo. They've been riding the sexual harassment bull for a long time, and that's true of Mr. Tubin as well. Um, he actually, uh, about ten years ago, uh, had an affair with uh, a colleague's daughter, Jeff Greenfield. <laughs> and, uh, Jeff Greenfield was the colleague, uh, the daughter. I uh, am not the daughter, but. He ended up getting her pregnant, but yeah, much younger, much younger. But she was a Yale Law School graduate, right? So we are very, like he has high standards for who we want, we, want get, we want to just kind of establish this too, because when that story came out, it turns out that ten years before that, it also been harassing a very, very highly ranked, a very, very you know high you know prestigious female journalist, all actually older than he was. 
and right. she said things I guess I don't know what you can just use your imagination something she said that was so disgusting she didn't know what it was I'm thinking dirty Sanchez but I don't know something gross so from that we deduced well, he's not going to just prey on some intern. No, he's going for very highly educated people. Like, for example, uh, where'd you go to law school? Oh, uh, Cornell. I'm only half hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, but it's Ivy. So it's kind uh, of, it's not a Yale. Of, kind of. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. We, <laughs> but I went to Duke. Why you, are you putting on your pants? Did you make law review? <laughs> no. I'm out of here. <laughs> Will you reconsider? I'm like, why am I begging to be? Just because I'm insulted. Now it's, it's so good. It gets you insulted about <laughs> academic credentials and you're actually begging to be harassed. <laughs> Why isn't Tufts good enough? <laughs> you have a law school, <laughs> Baker. <laughs> well, anyhow, he's, yeah. He's got a lot of problems, and uh, he's probably going to have to lower his standards and start going for people who went to mid range schools, maybe even Fordham. <laughs> That's what happens. That will be a due punishment. Due punishment. Okay. Well, anyhow, this is uh, Love in a Time of Cholera with Hillary and Craig, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.